Is your skill being limited by your mouse settings in Counter-Strike 2? Here's how you can optimize your mouse settings and ensure that you're as accurate and consistent as possible. Looking at what pros use, you can see most stay within 500 to 1000 eDPI, and for good reason. A sensitivity that is too high will make micro adjustments too difficult and you will be overcorrecting when trying to hit headshots. A sensitivity too low and you will not be able to respond to enemies behind you or near the corner of your screen. Being able to consistently flick to an enemy and then adjust is essential. A single swipe of your mouse, however large that is for you, should be about a 180 degree turn. You will never need to turn more, and if a single swipe spins you around too much, your sensitivity is too high. If it takes too many swipes, you won't be able to turn around fast enough to kill the enemies behind you. While mass acceleration is used by some people, it makes your mouse movement inconsistent by introducing another variable, swiping speed. This means that your sensitivity changes depending on how fast you move your mouse, and it prevents you from building consistent muscle memory. And having a consistent sensitivity is very important. Once you find a good sensitivity, you need to stick with it, even on days you're not playing well. When switching between games, use websites such as mousesensitivity.com to keep your sensitivity the same between those games. If your PC supports NVIDIA Reflex without affecting your in-game FPS, you should turn it on because it will reduce latency by working directly with the game engine to eliminate the GPU render queue. In other words, your input latency will be reduced at the expense of FPS. While sensitivity is personal preference, there are some general guidelines that can help you pick the most optimal sensitivity for you. 